we have seen Meghan and Harry, both of them were downgraded on the royal website. The monarchy, in other words, was sending a message to both of them. If you remember what the queen did when she passed away, actually that happened before that, she willed that Sarah Ferguson will be given royal funeral if and when, not if, when she passes away. She was sending a message to Meghan and Harry because that time Harry did not like it and he was questioning that decision of the late queen. So you can see there is a trend that the monarchy is sending a message to both Meghan and Harry over and over again. So what happened this time is what we want to discuss in this video. But before we move on, just to remind you, most of my viewers are not subscribed. If you're one of them, consider subscribing. Let's talk about this particular news article that, that was just published. I believe it was published uh, today, a few hours ago. And this came to me as a very, very interesting news, something that I can even say uh, shocking to me. So what basically happened is what I want to share on the screen right here. So basically, King Charles issues message to Princess Eugenie in new move. But before we discuss more about this particular issue, particular topic, I want to actually focus your attention to something equally important, and that's, that is this one, guys. Take a look. Kate Middleton, or Catherine, Princess of Wales, her, her cancer diagnosis is being called fake. Can you believe this? Meghan Markle advocate speaks out about Kate Middleton's or Catherine's allegedly fake cancer. I have never seen something so outrageous ever in my life. You are calling it a fake diagnosis, fake news. I mean, come on, you do not have the normal, just the, you know, uh, the, the basic courtesy to respect someone's, I mean, not respect, to have any sympathy that somebody is going through this diagnosis. You have to make politics out of it. You have to make some headline about this, shame on you guys. This is exactly what we're seeing from this guy, his name is Perkins. A Farben Meghan Markle supporter identified as a lawyer. He's a lawyer. He's not a Jane Boy John Doe, he's a lawyer. He should not be saying these things, things like this, let alone, you know, someone, I mean, normal people should not be saying some, anything like this, let alone a lawyer. Has stirred controversy by questioning the, uh, the, authent the authenticity of Kate Middleton's cancer. Again, Princess of Wales, uh, Catherine's diagnosis. Parkins, who once lauded Markle as an quote-unquote American princess, erased doubts about Middleton's illness, speculating whether it was fabricated to quell public scrutiny over her prolonged absence following abdominal surgery. Again, shame on you. Mr. whatever you are, Parkins, whatever your name is, I am totally, totally out of word because this is not something you expect from anybody, let alone a lawyer. But you have Meghan Markle, her PR team, working 24-7 for her own PR machine propaganda for her lies and I am not really quite shocked when I see this kind of news. Now let's talk about the original story that I showed you in the beginning of this video. So basically this is what happened. King Charles issues message to Prince uh, Princess Eugenie in new move. She should not be a princess anymore. Well, I mean, I'm telling you. King Charles uh, seemingly skipped his niece Princess Eugenie for a major role as he now takes off from public duty amid his cancer battle. The youngest daughter of disgraced Prince Andrew was bypassed by the monarch as the counselor of state, moving up the royals instead. Royal historian Marlene uh, Coining, I think this is how you say it, told GB News. Now let's read a little bit more because it gets very interesting. When Charles became king, he was no longer a counselor of a state. So according to the uh, Regency law, Princess Beatrice moved up to that spot, she explained. Charles got Parliament to pass a law that added an addendum, so to speak, in common um, parlance, that Princess Anne and Prince Edward would become counselors, quote-unquote, she continued. So Anne and Edward were pushed up by bypassing Princess Eugenie and because, say for example, if Harry was removed, Eugenie moves up because she is the next in line and that will be absolutely disaster if Eugenie becomes the next in line if Harry is removed. So I think in that way uh, the uh, king did uh, the right thing. He did not remove himself because remember, 
once he becomes the king, he can no longer be in the council of state position because he's the king. There should be five people. So instead of removing Harry completely, he kind of like took away all the power that Harry would have if there is a situation where Harry would have to make some decision for the monarchy. Um, and that, that is a smart move because if he did remove Harry, uh, literally, then Princess Eugenie will move up and become you know, counselor of a state, and we do not want that because Princess Eugenie is the spy for Meghan and Harry. Corning added that technically, quote unquote, Prince Harry should not be on the on it because he is not domiciled in the UK, and that is so true. But the king did not want to uh, upset the successes, and at the same time, I would say he did not want to take any chance with Eugenie. She also pointed out that Andrew, who is embroiled in a sex scandal, has not been removed either. We have to admit one thing for sure, that the monarchy right now, they really need some solid people, some loyal people, uh, put it that way, in, in line. Because all of these uh, spies, all of these um, traitors, they are uh, next in line to take up big responsibilities for the monarchy. So I think it is time for us to really uh, look into this. And this is why some people were saying that uh, Prince Edward, his daughter, could become uh, the next duchess and re get re Meghan Markle removed uh, from that title. There was a talk going on, and I reported on this too. She also pointed out that Andrew, who is embroiled in sex scandal, have not been removed either. So King Charles, who was diagnosed with cancer in February, is currently recuperating from his treatment as he is not taking on public duty. Moreover, Catherine was diagnosed with cancer the next month, which is why she, alongside Prince William, are also keeping away from public as they deal with the health crisis. Hence, the monarchy is left with a small group of working royals. See, this is exactly what they're saying. However, the king has not, hasn't named councillors of state yet because he is still able to do his constitutional duty. In other words, the king actually is playing it very, very smart on the advice of Prince William that um, he is not letting um, Harry take any major responsibility. At the same time, he's not removing Harry from the Council of State because it looks like what I understand from this article is that the moment Harry is being removed, then Princess Eugenie will be uh, taking up his, um, his spot unless obviously the king decides otherwise. But by all means, we never want to see Princess Eugenie um, taking up that responsibility and becoming one of the Council of State uh, members. Of course, with Beatrice, it could could be a little bit different but with Eugenie we can never trust her now just to jump back to that um, other story that I just shared with you guys as I said this is absolutely pathetic what they are paddling Megan's lies do not for one second believe that Megan Markle is sympathetic to Catherine even though you may hear it that they are trying to convey their message their you know their their sympathy uh, towards Catherine do not buy those stories. Megan is doing absolutely nothing. She is asking, she is prodding her supporters, her sex squad, to spread the rumors, the lies about Princess of Wales, Catherine. And now they are asking question whether her cancer diagnosis is actually real or not. Can you believe this? So we should not be taking our eyes off of it and at the same time not... Uh, you know, we should not be believing Megan and Harry and their PR, all the lies. Thank you guys for joining. I'll see you in the next video.